it should be the uh, not, not being a part of the of the superhero thing. So why why don't you why don't you believe that the Earth is hollow? Because I've been there. Because you've been to the center of the Earth. Mm-hmm. What's it look like? It's molten lava. What the hell do you think it looks like? It's lava. It's magma. It's not how lava. did you magma. survive? I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I just thought that was. Yeah. How would you how did you survive? Oh, dude, I, I I wore this awesome this awesome suit. <laughs> the suit that I made. Bubble. I did not make the bubble this time. The bubble was for the Earth. That was way too big to encase myself in. I'd be inside the Earth with a make bubble bigger than the Earth. Because it's very precise about how you do it, man. You got to do it. It's all little calculations. That that just happened to happen. I just happened so to. You're, wait. Just happened to happen. I get, it just I get, happened to happen. I, I got to go back. You. You're talking about the the one G bubble that you made, so you would be able to <laughs> weigh the Earth mm-hmm. in space mm-hmm. and have it actually have weight because obviously space is zero G. Yep. Made a ground scale. Ground <laughs> ground scale. As you said. Yeah. Ground scale. Dude, the scale was even like really really small. It was like one of those like gram scales, but I I tweaked the inside of it to make it <laughs> make it actually. So do, like, okay. So how much does the Earth weigh? A lot. <laughs> All right. Remember, he can't tell us. Oh, that's right. I can't tell you. Like, I, I gave you, like, part of it, but I can't give you the whole thing. It's 10 to the 26th power. I can tell you that much. Okay. Times 10 to the 26th. Well, that, that'd be the mass. Yeah, it's the mass. It's 1.317 1. times 10 to the 25th power. It's 26. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They were close. That's in pounds. That is in pounds. Um, then its density is 344.3 pounds per foot cubed. Are we way off? Per cubic feet. That one's actually dead on. That one, that one is? Mm-hmm. Okay, alright. So, um... So good job, guys. Alright. <laughs> so, so the mean radius, we'll, we'll go with this. Since you've been to the center of the Earth, did, yeah. you, did you happen to drop a line so you can measure the radius? I was going to, but my line snapped, and I was like, I had to like do a Mission Impossible, like, at the center of the Earth, so I'm like, <laughs> I've got my hands all spread out in this hole at the center of the Earth, and I'm like, hovering over this lava, and it's really hot, it's burning my chest air. And I'm like, I gotta get out of here, so I had my friend, that is dead now. <laughs> <laughs> you sacrifice him into the lava? Yes, I had to, to appease the gods that live in the magma. But The magma gods? <laughs> so, I had them, I had the, I had him, um, Pull me up from the center of the earth. That was fun. Right to the moment he died. And then I kicked him in. <laughs> Sparta style. <laughs> this is Earth. It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what happened. It was a okay, long fall. Um, I, the fall was awesome, dude. You should have heard him scream. Well, it's, uh, it sounded so awesome. The radius, the distance from the crust to the core, is uh, 3,959 miles. See, underneath the crust is not magma, though. That's not. That's not how that works. It's actually a um, the pressure from the magma inside of it is actually creating like this energy that's pushing everything out. So that that was really weird. And when I got down there, I was kind of confused about that. So I thought as soon as I broke through the crust, I would hit magma, and that wasn't the case. It was like a foot or two of just air, and that was really cool. Was and it? It was like this ball of magma just like spinning. It was pretty sweet. Was it red hot liquid magma? It's not red. It's orange. Uh-huh. That was weird. That's really interesting, John. I know, right? <laughs> so I when we so. so when we go for your your sanity hearing, then yeah, that's fine. This this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm completely sane, kind of. All right. The chocolate is rebuilding. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that totally proves the same thing. Yeah. I thought he was retarded. Thought that was completely random. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate is rebuilding. Wait, rebuilding what? <laughs> You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Uh, let's see. Set. Earth Moon is uh, three times smaller. It's one third the size of the Earth. Yes, it is. That, yeah. is, that is true. Yeah. One thousand. The mean radius. But is, it weighs um, more. It weighs more though, because I did the whole thing with the gravity thing with on the moon too, and it weighed more. And it was weird. I don't understand how that happened. Uh, but this I knocked calculates. On it, and it was all hollow and shit. And I was like, that is so weird. According to my research, the, the mass of the moon is 1.620 times 10 to the 23rd power 
Have you been there? Pounds. Have you been there? What? Have I been there? What? Yeah. No. I've been there. <laughs> You've been to the moon too? That's what I said. I put the gravity bubble that I had on the Earth on the moon. Did the exact same thing. Would it be too big? In a way Since more. the moon is one third the size of the it Earth? Didn't no, no, it was fine. It doesn't oh. have to be... It doesn't have to be form-fitting? No, it doesn't have to be form-fitting. It's oh, just okay. a bubble. It's a bubble. You just kind of wait for the wait for the moon to pass through the bubble. As soon as it does, you ease it onto the scale. And you put the scale... The ground scale. The ground scale. And then you Which is the size of a standard uh, kitchen scale. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was pretty, pretty, cool. pretty impressive. I was. That, that's. I'm impressed by the balance. Right. You can balance ridiculous. this giant sphere on top of this tiny little scale. I about broke it. It almost broke it. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. And I was really, really nervous about it, but everything turned out okay. Okay, but the the moon weighs more than the Earth. Yeah, it's actually uh, times ten to the sixtieth power. It's huge. It's like a huge amount more. Okay, because uh, the density actually has less density. Yeah, but that's not true. But it, I tell you what's really cool: you take a hammer and you knock on the moon a couple times. It's hollow. That's hollow. Yeah. Okay. It's not made of cheese. No, it's not. It's it's not. Is there a cheese factory inside? It's just, it sounds like a big metal ball. How did we get? So what? is that? Are you saying that's no moon? It's a space station. I'm I'm thinking so. Like they wouldn't. Is it a Death Star? There is a there is a hatch. <laughs> is it a, a two meter exhaust port? It is not a two meter exhaust <laughs> port. I don't think it's an exhaust port. It's about three. It's about two three the moon, meters wide. But I'm sorry. I'm gonna catch him up real quick. That's me. The moon is not a, a rock like an astral body. It's actually a space station. It's a big iron ball. I don't think it's iron or some type of metallic hollow. Because you knocked on it, because it's it's kind of shiny. But if you go to the parts where it um it there's like so it looks like a drop of water. What? No, nobody answered. Um, <laughs> really, that's your question? Nobody answered. Um, so there are there are parts of the moon where it looks like somebody dropped a, a drop of water into the center of it, mm -hmm. and there's a crater, and then like a little tunnel. from a drop of water. No, like. It looked, this what it looks Question, like. Question, how do we get from the center of the Earth to the moon? Very easily. Because he was explaining how he measured the weight of the Earth. Okay. And, and he did the same thing for the moon. Because mm -hmm. okay. I mentioned that the moon was one-third the size of the Earth. Yeah. But it, roughly. It weighs it almost uh, it weighs a lot more. I'm not going to try to estimate how much more. It weighs a lot. A lot more. Anyway. Because it's a space station, not Cause it's like a space rock. Yeah, and I don't know like if it's completely hollow. It sounds hollow. You know. Or at least that section was hollow. At least that section. Maybe that was like the cargo bay. It might have been. It's a death star. Possible. Anyway, um, so it looks like somebody. It looks like a drop of water, and you know, but it yeah. looks like it's 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 frozen in time, right? So because it's in space, there's no gravity, awesome. and I was really worried that. I wonder if that's the, like space camouflage. See, well, that's what I was thinking, and what what I was really worried about was um, when I put that gravity bubble around it, is that everything would just fall. And it didn't, and I was really surprised about that, and I was like, the only way that could happen is if it, that's just part of the ship. That's mm -hmm. how it's got to be. Okay. It's got to be it. So, so I, know. I played yeah. that song for my dad today. Oh, the camouflage? <laughs> I painted, uh, painted my car camouflage or something like that? Fred Paisley? No. <laughs> Paisley? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she was. Yeah. There was a concert. Yeah. It's depressing. <laughs> Bubba went to it. Oh, I wanted to oh did he? <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, so... Oh. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I was really worried I was going to all collapse, but it didn't, and I was really excited about that. So I was, like, really curious about it, so I went to one of those towers, and if you Wait, look... towers? There's towers? Yeah, there's towers. On the moon? Yeah, right. In, Station? In, in, in craters. Oh, inside the craters, there yeah. are towers. There are the towers, right. That looks like a drop of water. Oh, I got frozen, you, I got you. Right? And so I went up to the tower, and the tower was clean. Like, you know, most days it's got moon dust everywhere. It's all thick and, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so it's basically the, uh, you know, they need to hire, get the crew out there to, to wash it. Yeah, it was just clean. And I was like, that's so weird. And I think it's an antenna. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Like communication tower? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Were there any, like, turrets? Like, no. No turrets? I didn't see any. No defenses of any kind, as far as you know? I think that that would kind of, you know, totally destroy the illusion that it is a moon. Well, maybe maybe there are like ports that open up and they, you know. Yeah, maybe they didn't come see up. me as a threat. Yeah. Well, because you're just one guy knocking on the side of the moon. Right. Yeah. 
So what was really cool? <laughs> what was really cool was the was the helmet that I wore. <laughs> was it aluminum foil? It was not. Oh, okay. It was not. It was, uh, it does keep the aliens out. Yeah, I wanted to talk to them. So, what, what happened? He doesn't want to keep the aliens out of his mind. No, so it's kind of like this glass. <laughs> Wear an antenna. It's <laughs> it's kind of the same as the um, as the the one G bubble, right? No, oh, okay. So it kind of looks like a fishbowl. Kind of. It you kinda you looks wore like a fishbowl on your head. I didn't because it was completely circular. There was no like lip on it, and it completely <laughs> covered my. It started here and went up and around, and then there was a. There's kind of like this holographic screen, like a heads-up display that appears mm -hmm. on the front of it, so I can analyze things and all, you know, all that good stuff. Right. All the science. You track your eye man. movement so it knows That's what you're what looking at. Yeah. 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 The Iron Man helmet's got to be kind of kind of like the kind of like the Iron Man helmet, but. Um, Cooler. But big in glass <laughs> and yeah. round and cooler. Okay, so for some reason when you describe that, describing that, that it makes me think of it is. Sandy from SpongeBob. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm envisioning. <laughs> it kind of looks like Sandy from Sun from, from SpongeBob, but um, I can't I can't say even say that name because it's really ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, that show's fucking stupid. I don't even understand who came up with that. Uh, um. Is it a creator? Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Not our creator, its creator. <laughs> so, um, so that was a thing. So <laughs> our creator came up with it just to torture us. It's like, this is what you get for <laughs> attending the Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Liz, it'll find a whole letter in the sea. Oh, God, no! What the hell is this? You know, that's actually, on a side note. That's hell. That's what <clears> hell is. They make you watch Spongebob 24 hours a day. That and Barney. Oh, God. Ugh. Offsets. Spongebob, then Barney. Spongebob, then Barney. Or mix it up randomly, so you just really don't know which hellish torture you're going to have to sit through. And Yo Gabba Gabba just kind of like pops in. And the what? Yo yeah. Gabba Gabba. What the fuck is a Yo Gabba Gabba? I don't know. It's like some children's show <laughs> that I heard of. I think you've been forced to watch it. Yeah. Are they the ones with the sock monkeys? Yeah, I think so. Sock puppet things? I don't know. Okay. So I don't know. Sounds yeah. awesome. But as I was leaving the moon, what was really weird about it was when I was leaving the... Was there a hillbilly on a rocking chair say, y'all come back now you're here? No, it like, it opened, it broke apart and opened up just a little bit. And when no I, offense. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> to our Appalachian American <laughs> in the room. No, no offense there. Yeah. But it, it like... It like opened up. It was like, like a boo -boo. <laughs> and there was air. Mm -hmm. You could see the dust like flow out. Right. And then like this big ass eye like fucking swung around and looked, and I was like, "That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen." And then it went boom and shut really quick. Okay. Yeah. And then Josh woke up. No, I yeah. didn't. No, and then I went. No, back. he <laughs> he will never wake up from this. <laughs> I uh, I went back. I went back to Earth and. How I got that was really awesome because it's kind of like, um, or came back to Earth since we're on Earth. Oh, bug bag. The way I the way I got there, the way I got to and fro. To and fro. Yeah. Forget the semantics. It's all right. Go ahead. Okay. So <clears throat> the way I got there that matters and back. at this point. <clears throat> right. <laughs> I think semantics are the least of our concerns. The way I got there and back was really neat because I kind of used a cannon-ish thing type thing. And see, I would have used like an Angry Birds slingshot. See, and that I, I thought about that, but then um, as soon as I got up into the upper atmosphere, I couldn't quite make it out in space, so uh -huh. I would just fall back and I would uh -huh. use my parachute. I don't know. That wasn't very fun. Then I tried a laser. I tried a laser ladder. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and that worked until the moon moved. Oh, right. And yeah. I just yeah, because the laser beam won't bend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just I had to turn it around and come back. And that wasn't fun because I went all the way out to Saturn. I was at Saturn. That was really neat. I'll tell you that story here in a minute. But um, I don't know if I can see that story. <laughs> uh, so uh, that that'll be a that'll be a space picture next time. But the way I ended up doing it was kind of like a cannon, <clears throat> except for it was propelled by plasma, like a plasma burst. Okay. So <laughs> I got into this cannon, right? And it was a control. A plasma cannon. I got into a plasma cannon, if you will. Yeah. <clears throat> and I got into this pod that was in it. 
and I waited for the moon to come about here, about just to the right of where I wanted to go. Oh, okay. Right. So I shot, and it just perfectly landed, touchdown, perfect touchdown. It was fantastic. Okay. So I used my reverse boosters, just landed on. <laughs> Getting back was weird. Reverse though. boosters on what? The pod? Yeah, on the pod. Oh, okay. So. Getting back, getting back was weird because um, I burned up all my fuel when I when um, when I used. Well, then you didn't bring I, the plasma cannon with you. I know, and I, I there's no there was no way I could. No, right, tie a rope around it, just drag it. What I did was you're you're gonna love this. <laughs> you're gonna love this. Um, I brought along this briefcase. Okay, <laughs> I still have this briefcase, and I'll I'll show it to you sometime, maybe. <laughs> um, yep, <clears throat> and what happens is. Because I went, I went up, went back up to get it. Because I had to leave it there when it opened up. And oh, right. So right. the of laser ladder the second time, I timed it right. Oh. I got up there, it was easy to come back. Oh, okay. So you but, had the laser ladder to come back. Mm -hmm, right. Because I've been there multiple times. I mean, you know, that was this is just the first time. The second time, they actually answered, and I was like, that's pretty. Oh, awesome. so and who lives there? Is it stormtroopers and shit? There are no. Did you meet Darth Vader? There are no Darth. There's no Darth Vader. No stormtroopers. Oh, yeah. Which sucks, but. Um, that sucks balls. Yeah, they look exactly like us, and I'll tell I'll tell you the whole story sometime else. They just know they look like us. Okay. Um, the moon people. Yeah, the the moon people. I guess you could call them. Uh, uh, okay, so briefcase, right? Briefcase. It's about uh, two feet by four feet. Big, yeah. big suitcase. Big suitcase. Yeah, briefcase, yeah. suitcase. Whatever you want to call briefcase it. is little. Suitcase is big. Well, it's a hand. Yeah, you can, you can carry it. Yeah, it's so it's a, it's a it's a case. It's a case. It's a case. Yeah. It's a carry bag. It's, it's a carry on. It's it's a carry bag. <laughs> too big to be a carry on. Yeah, it's too big to be a carry on. Yeah. But um, FAA won't allow that. <laughs> and they would not want this on there anyway because it's packed with explosives. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, don't take explosives on a plane. Really, really futuristic explosives. They're really it's that. really really neat. I'll, oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell you about did it. you get the recipe from the aliens? I did not because they didn't answer the first time. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but I know. He's a cat. But uh, yeah. So um, oh, chill. Apparently not. <laughs> She's adding commentary. She tried to torture the cat. No, the cat needs to get off my back. She tried to signal us that the aliens don't want Josh talking about this. But what should we talk about? Apparently not. Get off my bag. I'm, I made the cat move. What ah, the hell you fine. Make you think. I'll be fine. The aliens are gonna do anything to me. We're best friends. We've been best friends for a while now. So. Is it Zorlock? No, Zorlock is on Mercury. Oh, Mercury. Yeah. I, I thought maybe the moon was like a vacation. No, or and something. he is just so coked up these days. You can't even talk to him. So we kind of like stay away from him. <laughs> okay. But, <clears throat> but that's a whole other story. A whole other story. But anyway. So, uh, brief, uh, case. Yeah. Case. Gotcha. This case. <laughs> case well, full of explosives that you use to propel yourself back It's not forward. really a case full of explosives. It's just there are explosives in it oh, right, that right. power the mechanism. Okay, so. <clears throat> what, you, what happens is, so what you do is you pick up the pod, you pick up this pod, and you set it down on top of the case. Okay. And the pad on the top raises up, okay, from the from the, from the base of it, and everything folds out into like this. It almost looks like a target like thing. It's weird, but it's it's because it's circular. You know, mm -hmm. like it comes out circular. It's like a big target, right? So you climb into the pod, all right, and I just wait. I don't know like the mechanics of it or how it works. I just kind of. Do it together one day. It works. Out. Um, <laughs> but so I just threw all these machine parts in a case with some explosives, and it worked. And it worked, and I was really excited about it. So, um, <clears throat> so what it does is it after you after it opens all up, it brings mm -hmm. you back down. Okay. All right? And then it uses I don't know what kind of explosives they are. I forget. I'm envisioning, I'm envisioning like the the Wiley e. Coyote uh, springboard pad, almost like that, except but with explosives. With explosives. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, and it totally did. So um, well, it, obviously it, you're back. It came so. back down. It pressurized itself back down, and then it exploded. The explosives went off. Right. Um, shot, shot it straight up, and then I flew the pod. 
Oh, okay. Right, angle, you angle the pod. So you just use that to break the uh, escape velocity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you just, you know, just kind of glide it down. Because there's no more fuel, but all you got to do is use the, you're, you're going through and you just hit an asteroid and you bam. Yeah, the escape velocity is uh, 1.48 miles per second. Yeah, dude, it's, it's nothing. Um, and by comparison, the escape velocity of the Earth is uh, six point nine five. Which is a lot second. harder to uh, to get. I well, I mean, <coughs> in addition to the gravity uh, at thirty-two point one feet per second squared, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> you know, you have to fight the air pressure at forty-two fourteen point four pounds per square inch at sea level. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to use plasma cannon this week. Yeah. Yeah. And. To get from you know off the moon, all you needed was the uh, Wiley Coyote springboard with the explosives. If you want to call it that, yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want to call it. That's fine. Call it the Wiley Coyote. So do you want to recap with me what all they reference? So yeah, in like twelve minutes, we're gonna have a eclipse. The eclipse. Yeah, the eclipse. The which I think is what annular. started this whole. Yeah. Yeah. So my story. What are you recapping? You guys went from Star Wars to. SpongeBob, Lord of the Rings, Three and the Girls of the 21st Century. Yeah. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. No, because the eye. <laughs> These are all the geek no. things that 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 got referenced in the even, midst of this. That. I mean, I didn't even think of that. I, I, that the great eye. <laughs> oh, Planet of the Apes, because yeah. the pod. Oh yeah, yeah. Isn't there something else? Um, Looney Tunes. <laughs> And you can't remember? Don't forget Zorlax. <laughs> well, that was the whole thing. Like, yeah. Austin well, except Powers. for the whole moon thing. I tried to throw Austin Powers. Austin Powers, yeah. yeah. The Great yeah. Space Adventure. There you go. We got this. <laughs> there you go. Journey three, starring The Rock. They go to space. The oh, orange hot does liquid die. magma. <laughs> <laughs> does he die? <laughs> Fantastic. Does he get turned into space <laughs> jump? He is space jump. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh! She squeaked. Oh man. I'm gonna say right after I told oh, you all that. Oh yep, yeah. yep, yeah, sure did. WWE is over the limit. Started eight. Hooray! Brandon's like, why can't you record it? Well, <laughs> yeah, because this is fancy. <laughs> that and no. Yeah, I'm. I'm still kind of reeling over the expense of. Uh, uh, WrestleMania. <laughs> and then found out that I could watch it for free online the next day. <laughs> you, don't know, no. you, you know what? You, you know what? Know. Does the term kiss my ass mean anything to you? No, it does not. Well, here, let me explain. You pucker your lips, plant it on my ass, and leave a kiss. Duck face. Duck face on my ass cheek. I don't want to do that. Yeah, want to doesn't even enter into it. What? Her fascination. Anything laying around, she's got to lay on. It's yeah. like cats and paper. Yeah, you you lay a piece of paper down on the floor. Hey, there you go. This is an experiment that you can do on cat psychology. Oh, we do the feel. Person. We have been this whole time. Oh. Remember, he said he was recording <laughs> it for your psyche. Back. See, that's what I thought was happening. I thought that was just a funny. Yeah, well, it, it, you guys it, it, were listening to my awesome stories just to make fun of me later. <laughs> I thought it was going to be different than the podcast. Well, we're still going to make fun of you. See, I thought that was going to be different than the podcast. Oh, well, we're, well, we're, oh. we're actually going to do one later. This was just yeah. a little fun thing. Yeah. I, yeah. I was going to use it for my, you know, my, my superhero thing. Oh. Why'd you yeah, just for the that's superhero? That's what I was thinking thing? the entire time. Because we're going to advertise the superhero thing on the podcast. They can't know it's me. <laughs> 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 when you do the video, they're gonna know. No, they won't. I have a super oh, awesome secret. So secret, I did. Oh, yeah. Really? I was like, hey. Really? Okay. Yeah. So nobody will know it's me. All right. Well, I think Maybe we. Like, is that Hugh Jackman? What? It is. That's what they're gonna think. Hugh, really? Oh, Hugh, really? really? Hugh Jackman. Jackman. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yep. All right. Wolverine in the house. <laughs> the house. Better start working out, son. <laughs> Don't worry about that. And I tell you what, though. Awesome super the man is 50 years old. If I could look like that at 50 years old, I'd be fucking ecstatic. 
I beeped. is all going off about how it's not fair. He's going into his 50s and John Cena is much more fit. Much more fit. Well, I guess he should have thought of it before he challenged John Cena to a fucking match. He's like, it's not fair now. Everyone please pray for me. (laughs) He's a douche. (laughs) (laughs) So, I, uh... (laughs) This is really funny. Um... We went fishing this morning. We got up uh, at like six ish. Nobody called. Huh? No, because it was like six in the morning. I figured you'd be asleep. I was awake. At six in the morning? Mm-hmm. Well, I should say I was still awake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was still half drunk, so I. Yeah, see. So, <laughs> so I. Look at that strip, please. That's geese. That's not what I wanted. Um, so I got this, uh, I got this video of... I don't want to see a sex tape. No. Well, actually it kind of is a sex tape. I don't want that. In a lake. I don't want that. Yeah, no, it's not really a sex tape. But some, in some way it is. Okay, no, there were these large giant, these really humongous carp. And they were spawning. And then, so I'm recording because, I mean, they're, the fish are huge, right? I mean, they're like over two feet long. Yeah, they're, they're enormous like freaking fish. They wouldn't bite, piss me off, but it's because they're spawning. They use corn. Hmm. Corn. Well, when they're spawning, they're not going to bite anyway because they don't eat one during spawn. So, I started recording this, uh, trying to get a shot of these giant ass fish, and then I realized, holy crap, I'm filming fish porn right now. I don't want to see fish porn. <laughs> so, that's really kind of what it is. It's not like real, like fish porn, because fish don't actually have sex. They don't have intercourse. I know, they just. The female lays the eggs, and then the male swims over and. Jacks off. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have hands. How's he going to jack off with no hands? What? You're weird. You're weird. You're making. You're fucking, we're fucking filming fish porn! Yeah, but you're making fish porn sound weird. He was filming it because the fish were huge. Yeah, no, actually, I was just filming the fish because they were flopping around out of the water and you could see how massively enormous these fish were. They were flopping. They were flopping. Yeah. Flipping and flopping. Big flipping flopping and flopping. Fish. Big flopping fish. Um, but yeah, I thought about that after, <laughs> after I stopped recording. I'm like, holy crap, that's almost like fish porn. And then he thought he was totally getting checked out by this chick. Yeah, <laughs> this, this freaking do- uh, jogger chick. Uh, she was walking by, just, I mean, staring straight at me, right? Even stopped to stare at me for a minute. And I keep looking up, and, you know, she hadn't turned or anything, hadn't moved. She's standing there straight up staring at me. I'm like, I'm getting ready to turn around and ask her. I'm like, can I help you or something? I was like, why are you staring at me? And then she walks up, and she walks away when I turn around. So, <laughs> and then I realize... I had my 40 on my hip <laughs> and my shirt when I was, because I held the camera up to try and shine down in she the water. She was staring at the gun. At the gun. <laughs> like, I don't know why that freaked her out so bad, but yeah. She was staring at your Glock. Yeah, it's a Smith, not a Glock. Shut up, dude. It was a joke. It was a gun joke, and it was funny. You should have said Gat then. No, it had been Glock, because that, that sounds like cock, and it was funny. Oh! I got it now. I Yeah. That was, you're right, that was funny. (laughs) (laughs) She was staring at my Glock. Ah! I get it now. (laughs) Ten minutes. You Uh, know what? What? Yeah. So, yeah. Just noticed you know me. What? Said you know what? I said noticed you know me. Yes. It's weird. Yeah. What? Christian's back. Yay. Yay. Ew. Ew. Well, he might come back as, you know, cool. Ah. Might? I didn't say would, I said might. Chill. You never know. Because when he was tag team partners with Edge, he was actually kind of cool. Yeah, they had a pep talk. Yeah. They, they did some pretty hardcore <laughs> tag teams. <laughs> it took you a minute on that one. I <laughs> know, uh, it's like really, really. <laughs> yeah.
We like jokes. We're funny people. Dude, the eclipse is getting ready to happen. I'm so, are we going to go out and stare at the sun I'm and go freaking blind like Galileo? I'm going to. You guys don't have to. Hey, oh, I'm Galileo. Hey, <laughs> do that video. Huh? Gonna do that video. Do what video? Hey, oh, oh we're going to do that video. Oh. I thought, you, I thought you wanted me to play a video like right now. I'm like, no, what video? We're gonna, we're gonna do that video? Yes, we are going to do. We are going to do that. We have a series of uh, skits coming up that we're going to be doing, and also a movie. A movie. Actually, it's kind of like a mini series, really. Mini series. Yeah, I think what it is. Yep. It's going to be the uh, the League of of Just Ass of Just versus Ass. Evil Steve. Steve. Yep. So, yeah. Watch for promos on that. Uh, right now, we're gonna go watch this eclipse and ooh and all and all that. We gotta hurry because it's time to get back. Weird stuff. And uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we got so. two minutes. All right. Let's go check.